the work we're reporting in this paper uh, represents really an unexpected discovery. Last year we were working on the treatment of alopecia areata using JAK inhibitors in mice. And we noticed quite to our surprise that when we used the drugs topically, the mice regrew their hair much more quickly, much thicker and much darker than they did when they received it systemically, which gave us the first clue really that these drugs might be doing something to influence the hair cycle directly and not just acting on the immune cells. To explore this phenomenon further, we decided to move into just studying a normal hair cycle, both in mice and in humans. And so what we really were after was looking to see the impact of these drugs on activating stem cells in the hair follicle. What we found was that the application of a JAK inhibitor to a normal mouse skin actually kicks those mice into an active hair cycle. So if we apply the drug during resting phase, what we find is that within a few days' time, the drugs actually activate uh, the, the beginnings of hair growth. This is a very unusual effect and there aren't too many drugs that are known to be able to do that. So it gave us uh, some excitement about taking the, the studies forward and really figuring out uh, how these drugs were acting uh, to do that. What we show in the paper is that the drug also has potency in our hair induction assays in human cells, suggesting that it could also uh, potentially influence uh, the start of a human hair cycle as well as extending it. So that opens up the possibility of treatment of a wide range of hair disorders, uh, not simply uh, male pattern or female pattern hair loss, but another you know, group of, of disorders, chemotherapy-induced alopecia where the hair follicles are arrested, uh, or other uh, types where the hair grows for a short time, such as short antigen syndrome, and you'd like to be able to extend that hair growth cycle. So there have been historically you know, several other compounds that have come and gone that have the similar property of being able to very actively and aggressively start the hair cycle and you'll know that none of those are yet on the market for male pattern baldness so there's you know a lot of work that still has to be done to even begin to test that